So that might be when she saw her on Malibu Canyon, yeah, and then right. he might have seen her the same day. Right, because uh, um, she said that it was around 7.30 in the morning. And he said it was in the morning, too. Okay. And she said that standing on the edge? Uh, right near a bus stop at the... At the I'll, I'll show you the... Thank you. I'll just give you the paper that she turned up. That would be wonderful. Yeah. Okay. He's not really aware of time and place yeah, in some type of state of mind. Yeah. Because normally, under normal circumstances or in normal state of she mind, she was help. very, I mean, she talks to anybody. She, she, when she yeah, refers so to herself as a rainbow, I mean, she talks to everybody. Good conversation. And she would not have been afraid to speak to anyone. But the fact yeah, that see, she Yeah, see, to me, she kind of, it seems like maybe she didn't want help and didn't want to be found. Or like she was kind of disappearing back into the bush. And, and she then she probably didn't even realize the state she was in. Did Sometimes the police tell you what happened after the search with the scent? Do you know where they were sent, where they got her scent at all? And did you give them something? Uh, they received clothes, clothing I articles from my grandmother's home. Well, she said that um, there's a house next to it that a lot of parties go on there. She like at least three or four times a week. And uh, she said you definitely want to go there and check it out. She's a makeup artist, and she said that she told the police last Sunday to follow it up because she really strongly believed that was her going to that house. Um, oh, really? She said, I know faces, and she like, if it's the not... The woman that lives over there somewhere? Yeah. Oh, really? And, well, this is what she's saying. She believes she saw her, so she says she feels like um, by putting on makeup, she knows faces. Um, she was looking for some type of recording artist, studio person. Um, and she came and asked the person behind her, did she know who, who that was? And they pointed to that house. Um, and she said there's a lot of people that um, party there at least three to four times a week. Um, but, if you know, not to be certain, but she feels comfortable, that will be a good place to go. How did the police tell me? Well, she said she talked to Detective Knowles, and I already knew what the answer was, no. Mm -hmm. That, and that's pretty much where we've been getting any follow-ups, possible leads, or whatever. It's, it's you. Wrong. It's everybody out here that. now that that's following up. Well, so. you know, and the reason I called was because I it didn't mention Montanito on the news part at all when it was first coming out. I'm like, right. what are they saying? It's the right. neighborhood. That's what she but do you have a picture of her car? No, I do not. But I know her it's car a, is still in the impound. Yeah, it's a. Is it in Malibu Towing? Yes. yes. Malibu Towing. Yes. And why aren't they giving it back to you? Uh, investigation. And right. I'm like, why? Have you gotten any other belongings out of the car? No. The LAPD has But it was not part of the investigation. Yeah, she didn't right. go missing with her car. No. And her purse is in there. Did yes. you go get her purse out? Uh, I understand LAPD. that they have a lot of her information. And now we're playing tug of war, okay? The last Thursday they came out, once they turned it over to the detectives, I told them everything they want to know. Then they came back, and I told Latisse that... We don't know anything new until you tell us something new because we're not going to be putting everything in your lap and we're not knowing what's going on. 
So pretty much, they hadn't gotten nowhere. They haven't told anything. And it kind of upset Latisse. So she pretty much like, look, you know what? Until you guys have something, let me know. We're finding out that once we talk to patrons and residents and different things of that nature, we follow up. They haven't went out. They haven't checked. They like, the detectives are asking us questions like, do you want us to check it out or are you going to check it out? And I'm like, last time my what? taxes said, yeah. you should they're check not, it out. That's their job. <laughs> so we'll drive and I'll okay. show you. The first street's called Canyon, I mean, um, Crater Camp, and that's the... Which trail was that? Oh, that's the side of the connector trail. Well, this, yeah. those, those yeah. Yeah. These, these were the ones that supposedly uh, that she had on. That's what we were looking for anyway. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah. Those she, she did it for a van. And um, yeah, we covered the lower uh, connector trail. We covered uh, all through the state park, uh, the spur trail going over to Mallow Creek State Park, the entire creek beds. We started at 6.15 in the morning. We went until about uh, 5 o'clock at night. We went door to door. Handing out, uh, asking people, have you seen this woman? Um, we, didn't, uh, we didn't come up with anything except a couple of footprints. As far as King Duet ran, uh, our guys, are, I, was, I was the horse guy, so our guys only went as far as Malibu Canyon, but Search and Rescue went on further on down. They went right. along the canyon. And they, uh, did they go most down, you think, through most of that canyon? Cause they did, but the thing is, they didn't go down the side. They didn't repel down into the That's canyon. Which, they stayed along the top the part. Canyon. Yeah. I mean, you know, so... Because somebody, somebody presumably saw her walking down on that, or that, that's one thing that we heard. Supposedly there was a call that somebody had seen, yeah, yeah somebody had seen somebody in Malibu Canyon that next morning. Walking south yeah. or towards, this was over towards here, Malibu that next morning. Yeah, what time, camp what time was that? Where she was seen supposedly around 6.30 in the morning. the morning, but I didn't hear. This is where somebody had said that they'd seen uh, a young black gal out there. But I think she said she saw that later. Yeah, I don't know. Canyon 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 Canyon. These are all bits and pieces, right. but... Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was pretty intense. We covered the entire area, like I say, went door to door in this area, and then they did some down below. But um, you know, we're and so the footprints. Now they they just stopped. Well, there's a, there's a bridge right here, and they were a little bit along the side, right here in the dirt. There's a wooden bridge here, and we just saw a few of them. And here again, whether it's the same few or not, we don't know, because unfortunately, it's been a few days now since all this took place. So. You know what? Now that bridge was was that the bridge that we crossed to get no, here? No, no, you're you're over here. What you did is you came on down, you came down Cold Canyon, you came across, you came across a, a bridge right here by Dark Creek, okay? And then you're you're right here in the corner. This, where she was spotted, was over here. 